Hey Audacious Church, how are you doing? My name is Rafaro. I am part of our Manchester campus here in the United Kingdom and I have the double privilege of being both our young adults and small groups pastor. Uh, I have the actual honour as well this week of bringing you for the next five days this week's devotions on finding freedom. As part of our Pathway series, we began it last week with knowing God. The next step, of course, is finding freedom. And without further ado, let's get into it. I want to start by reading a pastor scripture that many of you will know, but please do read alongside me all the same. And it is Hebrews 12 verse 1. And it says, Therefore, since we're surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders. Let us throw off the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race that is marked out for us. See, you and I are actually in a race. We're running a race. But unlike our Olympic athletes that we love and that we cheer on every couple of years who run competing against one another in a ring, in a circuit, we're actually running with each other, running alongside each other towards eternity. Heaven is our goal. In fact, Hebrews 12, the previous chapter, Hebrews 11, lists the who's who, the hall of fame or the hall of faith, as we like to call it. It says it was by faith that Abraham did it. Did it, did it. it was by faith that Moses did it, did it, did it. And I actually like to think that we are still part of that lineage, part of that legacy. And so you never know. It could read Hebrews 11 verse 9,682. It was by faith that Rafaro did it, did it, did it. it was by faith that you did it, did it, did it. You just fill in the gaps there because it is by faith. It is by knowing God that our race begins because knowing God isn't the finish line. It's all right, great. I've got salvation. I can rest now. But actually knowing God is the start line. And so we now get the opportunity to run, as the verse says, with perseverance, the race that marked out for us. It's a promise that God has a plan and a purpose. Galatians 5 Three says, you know, um, it is for freedom that Christ set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened by the yoke of slavery. See, once you know God, you've got to find freedom because Christ came to set us free from the sin that, you know, Hebrews was, was just wanting to cast it off. That comes by virtue of knowing Jesus. And that brings us into a new stage of freedom where the old man is gone and the new man is here. In fact, that comes from 2 Corinthians 5, 17, that we are now a new creation. We are now, you know, made new that we can run with confidence. We can boldly approach heaven. In fact, the Bible also says that let those who have clean hands and pure hearts boldly approach the throne of grace. And that is what the blood of Jesus allowed you and I to do. So the first step of, of finding freedom is living the revelation of great salvation isn't the end of it. It's actually the start line. And we've got to live in that freedom now. I want to leave you with a few verses just to ponder over over your day, ruminate upon, chew on, and just really get the revelation of what God's saying. It was, so let's start off by John 3.16. Come on, our foundation, our bread and butter, that for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever should believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Romans 8.33, sorry, 38. Uh, I am convinced that nothing, absolutely nothing, can separate us from the love of God, neither death nor life, nor angel nor demon, neither fears of today or the worries of tomorrow. Nothing can ever separate us from the love of God, not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. Uh, and the final verse that I'll leave you with is 1 John 3 verse 1. It says, see what great love the Father has lavished, what a great word, on us that we should be called children of God. And that, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know God is that it did not know him. So please just sit on the, in those scriptures, ruminate on them. But today's day one of realizing, you know what? Salvation is not the finish line. It's the start line. So let's get excited for the rest of the race. God bless you, church. See you tomorrow.